Hello, my name is Mr. Lagu Kadaba and I'm a research fellow at the Department of Tumor Biology, Barts Cancer Institute, London. The background to my work is centered on the intense stromal desmoplasia of the fibrotic reaction seen as a pathological hallmark in pancreatic ductal adenocarcinoma or PDAC. This desmoplasia can comprise 60 to 70 percent of the tumor volume and has been implicated as a factor in promoting tumor invasiveness and the poor prognosis that this cancer type is associated with. It is now well established that pancreatic stellate cells, which are vitamin A storing cells situated in the periacinar spaces of the gland, to be primarily responsible for this desmoplastic reaction. Tumors with high stellate cell activity have been shown to exhibit poorer prognosis. My work concentrates on the interaction between pancreatic stellate cells and cancer cells studied using an in vitro or genotypic culture model. We hypothesize that there is an optimal proportion of pancreatic stellate cells to cancer cells that modulates tumor behavior and we attempted to dissect out this probable tipping point for stromal composition upon cancer cell behavior. Our laboratory has carried out significant work on organotypic culture models and has successfully established and validated a model for studying pancreatic cancer in particular. This model consists of a gel matrix composed of a mixture of collagen and matrigel. Cells are added on top of the gel and 24 hours later the unit is raised onto a metal grid with growth media underneath. This model is cultured for 10 days following which the gels are fixed in formalin and paraffin sections are obtained. For this experiment, we added pancreatic stellate cells and cancer cells in specific ratios starting with cancer cells alone and adding stellate cells incrementally while keeping the total number of cells constant at half a million cells per gel. Initial observations on H&E staining revealed that as the ratio of stellate cells increased, there was an increase in the total number of cancer cells and also an increase in the number of cancer cells invading through the gel matrix. No such observations were made when either cancer cells or stellate cells were cultured alone. To study this further, immunofluorescent staining was performed for the proliferation specific marker KI67 and it was observed that there was an increase in the percentage of cancer cells positive for this marker from a median of 33% when cancer cells were alone to 54% when there were five times more stellate cells than cancer cells. Conversely, when the sections were stained for the apoptotic marker cleaved caspase 3, it was observed that there was a decrease in the percentage of cancer cells positive for this marker from a median of 4.5% when cancer cells were alone to 2.5% when there were twice the number of stellate cells than cancer cells. Next, in order to determine invasion, the sections were stained for the epithelial cell specific marker cytokeratin and the number of both single cells invading and cohorts invading were calculated. It was observed that there was an increase in the number of single cells invading from a median of one cell per high power field when the cancer cell study cell ratio was 10 is to 1 to about four cells per high power field when cancer cell study cell ratio was 1 is to 2. Similarly, the number of cohorts invading also increased from a median of about one cohort per high power field when cancer cell study cell ratio was 10 is to 1 to about eight cohorts per high power field when cancer cell study cell ratio was 1 is to 2. Therefore, in a sense, the presence of pancreatic stellate cells promoted the survival and invasion of cancer cells. And the most significant effects were seen at ratios where there were twice the number of stellate cells than there were cancer cells and in higher ratios. Further research at understanding the possible mechanisms involved is underway. I would like to thank my research lead, Mr. Hemant Kocher and the rest of my team at Parts Cancer Institute for their help and I thank you for listening.